look, we've had one week where this, for the first time in his presidency, these problems have not been self-inflicted. We had six months of news, Scaramucci and the staff turnover and lying to the Boy Scouts and all these things that Trump did to himself. The North Korea crisis is an impossible problem and he, he, that he inherited. Venezuela is not his fault. But in the last week, we have had Trump threaten nuclear war, threaten Venezuela with military intervention, thank Vladimir Putin for expelling U.S. diplomats, and then finally, not condemn Nazis. It has been a catastrophe. And the, world's, the world has seen this. Every front page in the world is pictures of neo-Nazis marching openly, without hoods on, in an American state, and the president not vociferously condemning them. And that's a really bad thing for American leadership around Is the globe. Is there anyone in his administration who he respects enough to listen to? Because I can't imagine that there aren't people in his own administration saying, Mr. President, you need to just calm down here and, and, and seek diplomatic solutions and not get hot-headed. Well, we had our hopes put in John Kelly, the new chief of staff. Uh, he's been on the job for two weeks, and, and you know this, this has gone off the rails. The tweets have not stopped. He threatened fire and fury and then locked and loaded. I mean, diplomacy is not something that we should be divided on in a partisan manner. We can be Republicans and Democrats when it comes to taxes or health care, but you should not threaten an unstable regime with nuclear war on Twitter. That's, that's a basic principle of diplomacy. It's extremely important that the president's words are carefully chosen, and nobody is vetting these statements. And the same is happening with, with white supremacy. The same is happening with Venezuela. I think the UN ambassador, Nikki Haley, was surprised when she's standing next to Trump when he said, we're not taking the military option off the table. The US government is having to repudiate the president's own words.